hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to save you a lot of money i'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous headboard for only 290 rand that's 19 dollars let's jump into the video and i'll show you how My frame is 150 centimeters long, so I'm marking 50 centimeters so I can have three equal pieces. Right here, I'm drilling into the wood because my screws are not long enough to hold the two pieces together. I tried applying wood glue, but mine is finished. I'm going to add staples instead to make the frame stronger. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss a new video. This corner clamp is one of my most used tools. It's like a second pair of hands. I left the link to all my tools in the description bar below. The black fabric is called spun bond, but it's not necessary to get this one in particular, literally any old fabric will work for this part. I used 2 inch white foam and I cut it to fit my frame. When you staple it, please fold it like you see me doing, it will give your headboard a neater finish. Once that's done, go ahead and draw a line exactly where the wood runs so you don't miss the wood when you staple. I used 2 meters of fabric and I cut it into 3 equal pieces. 
Start by stapling your fabric to the one end of your frame. Then flip it over and staple it on the line you made. If you marked correctly, the staples will not miss the wood or else your headboard will come apart. Once that piece is secured, lay your second piece of fabric backwards and staple it onto the exact same line. Three or four staples will do. Then you want to add the box strip for a nice clean line. This time, add a whole row of staples next to each other like I do. Now flip the headboard around so you can pull the fabric tightly from the opposite side and repeat. Secure the last pieces of fabric onto the frame. Be careful to start with the fabric panels that run under first. At this point I was almost done, but I felt like the headboard was a little plain, so I went ahead and added some studs. Now we have to hang it. Drill your screws about 7cm into your wood, leave enough space to fasten a piece of string. Drill holes according to the recommended size of the hook screws you bought. Now fasten the strings. It can be anything really, even shoelaces, as long as it's strong enough, you are good to go. I used cotton twine. And we are done! I really like the way it turned out, simple but so beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more DIY to core videos like this one. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.